Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginners Tutorial and this is our part 15. Inside this video session guys, we are going to add our form layouts for add faculty type and add faculty. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. In our last video session guys we had developed about the layout section for so if I back to administrator panel and this is our admin panel and in our previous video session we had actually implemented about add section and this is about add class these are the two layouts we have set now this time we need to set about add faculty type and basically for add faculty okay these are the two things that we are going to set inside this video session so back to editor and first of all let's open up our routes so this is routes folder and web.php so if I back to browser and the route that actually we are using for our add type this is add faculty type so if I copy this route go here and let me search that and this is right here so it is using faculty type controller so I'm going to inside HTTP folder controllers and faculty type controller and here it is inside this we have a method something called add faculty type and this is the method so I'm going to call a view file so let's say that view and first of all let's return view and inside this view let's say admin inside admin we have views folder inside views folder let's say that add faculty type okay so I'm going to copy this file name scroll here go inside resources views admin and views folder and inside this views folder let's say that I'm going to create a PHP file and something add faculty type dot blade dot PHP okay so file has been created successfully and let's open up our add section dot blade I'm going to copy this layout close this file and paste inside this file so once we save this file if I back to browser reload this page and this is the section but we need to change the things according to our add faculty type so back to our inside database table something called add faculty type inside this table what actually we want we want about the type name and the status only two things we need to set inside the form layout okay so back to our editor and first of all let's change the name something called add faculty type so and also let's add faculty type scroll down this is not about section name this is let's say faculty type and uh, if I scroll here this is something called faculty type copy this for name go here change the ID and also we need to change the name here finally we need to change the placeholder so let's say that enter faculty type and also uh, these two fields we need to set inside the form and all we have done now so and this is about add faculty type okay save this page back to browser reload this section and this is all about add faculty type okay status active and inactive now next we have to add our faculty section so go to faculty and what are the fields actually we need to implement inside add faculty so if I open TBL faculties go to structure and these are the things that we have to make okay so first of all let's copy this route go here close this file and search inside this web.php and let me close this and this is add faculty so it is using called faculty controller so I'm going to open our faculty controller so open this file and inside this file we are using the method something called add faculty so inside this method inside this method let's return a view file so let's that return and this is return view function inside this view function let's admin dot views dot and this is about add faculty and this is about add 
faculty. So if I copy this view name, go here inside views folder, let me create a file something called add faculty dot blade dot php. Inside this file, we have to implement or add these are the form layouts. Okay, so I'm going to call open a file something called add class. Copy copy all this code from here and paste inside this add faculty. So I'm going to inside and let me reload this page. And as we can see that view file set up successfully. We need to change only the form layout. So back to top and let's say that add class instead of that let's say add faculty. I'm going to copy and pasting it here. Scroll down and inside this form. First of all let's change that add. This is add faculty. And inside this add faculty the first thing that we need to take as faculty type ID. It means that we need to provide a drop down. So I'm going to cut this here. Go add the starting section of form and pasting it here. And this is let's say that choose type. And this is about DD type. So if I copy pasting it here and I'm going to actually write some of the static values for this drop down now. In our upper videos guys we will convert all these things dynamically. So let's say teaching. Let's say non-teaching. Let's say labs faculty. These are the types and one to three as their IDs. Scroll down. This is all about and also I'm going to copy and pasting it here. This is faculty type. Next we have to add as name. So this is about let's say faculty name. So if I change this class name, let's say faculty name, copy this faculty name, pasting it here, pasting it here and also we need to change about the placeholder. So let's say that this is about inter faculty name. Next what we need, we need about the email section. Back to editor. Now we want to add email so copy this name pasting it here and this is all about faculty email. This is about email. Okay and input type text instead of text it should be email back here and all we need to change about the faculty name to faculty email. Copy this faculty email pasting it here and finally we need to change about the placeholder. So this is enter faculty email. Next. Next we want about the designation I think. So designation. So if I copy this layout pasting it here and this is totally about the faculty designation. Okay so faculty designation. So if I copy it should be input type text. Scroll here and let's say faculty designation designation and finally let's say that enter faculty designation next so we want about the phone number so if I copy again pasting it here let's say that this is all about phone number faculty its phone copy this and this should be input type text or let's say input type number okay and finally scroll here and this is something faculty phone faculty phone and finally we need to change here the placeholder so this is not about designation this is about phone number okay so back to our database table next we want about the gender ID so here we need to make a drop down so if I back to top, copy this drop down and scroll down. So let's add about gender. So this is let's say that gender. Inside this gender first of all let's add male and the let's, let's say that it's female. Now next we need to change about the DD. This is DD drop down and this is about gender. 
copy this ID, replace with the name, save this file and also we need to change about the four here. Next we need about something called profile photo. So and if I just get rid of all these things first, so get rid of that, go at the top and uh, let me copy this faculty designation pasting it here we need to change something according to our so I'm going to get rid of that and let's say profile photo and this is about input type file this is about faculty photo copy this thing pasting it here and also pasting it here and finally we need to just remove this placeholder next we want about the address so I'm going to copy again and let's say that this is about address now I'm going to get rid of this input type text we need to add called text area so this is about text area inside this text area let's first about the add class so this is about form control next we need to add about let's say name so this is about faculty address and also specify some ID so this should be ID something like that and finally a placeholder so enter address so all we have done now all the important parameters we need to actually add it inside this form layout of add faculty so if I get rid of this faculty only the name and finally this should be only email so if I save this page go to browser and reload our admin this is all about add faculty inside add faculty we have to choose type first about name email designation phone number gender this is profile photo address and status so these are the parameters guys after actually implementing about the code of Laravel we need to save all these fields to database table so by the help of this video session guys we had added actually two more layouts for add faculty type and add faculty finally we have to make about add student so we will implement inside next video session so what we have done so far add section this is about add class add type and finally we have made about add faculty so these are the form layers implemented so far inside this video sessions next inside this next video we will make about the add student the layout section and also guys if you have started as your first video then actually let you net the, know that we have committed all the codes to this github repository you can download all the codes from here all the code if you go to the commit section inside this commit section what we have done so far inside the whole playlist I have committed step by step to each steps in the commit section so scroll down as you can see that this is about first commit migrations models this is all about controllers and so many more things about the last video session about class section and the class you can download all codes from this github repository so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.